All right there YouTubers, welcome to a cold and windy day. It is, I just came out, well I've been out quite a while, I wanted to do some videoing, but it's so windy and so nasty out here, <laughs> not compared to Chris, but uh, up in the wood yard. But it's 34 degrees and 15 mile an hour winds. And uh, this boy don't work in that kind of weather. And I, I'm, I'm in the barn right now Woo, where the where that rascal uh, rascal uh, I can't think what he is raccoon he had the you can see he's got this this out here I, I get that thing tucked all the way down there and there and he moves this this is about a five pound chunk of steel and I hide that in there and he comes in there and gets it out so I'm gonna have to review the the footage of the rascal getting in there and every time he gets in there I don't get a I don't get a mouse count. I'm up to 71 of uh, mice right now. I'll put it on the computer. Anyhow, I'm inside the barn. The reason I'm inside the barn is because then the wind do doesn't get you. Um, haven't been up the sawmill. It's so muddy. Can't get up there. Well, I can. I'll tell you the one thing nice about the wind is it really helps dry stuff out. So um we need some more wind it was it was flurry and snow earlier today but here's what my thing is i'm about ready to look at getting that big tree up there with a y in and i'll take you up closer and uh the reason being it's been dead for a couple years uh it's going to be gnarly to take down i'm kind of afraid to cut it down uh because i'm just not that good of a sawyer and i i had some other trees i wanted to take down i was hoping i'd get to them this weekend but with the wet wind the way it is, um, you could get cut and then all of a sudden that wind could take your tree and uh, hurt you with it. There's another dead one right there. You can't see it. There's, yeah, there's another dead one over there. I'll tell you what, they're dying faster than you get them out of the woods. I'm going to take you up there. Hopefully the wind won't be too bad that you can't uh, hear what's going on. Uh, boy, it's muddy. Yes, it is very muddy. And that's even after it's been drying out all day. I guess I shouldn't zoom around with the camera so fast. There's the tree. See it with a big Y? Now we'll take you up to that tree. It's dead. Got a lot of firewood in it. Um, this might be why. Here's a tree in the middle of the woods with barbed wire going through it. Um, barbed wire went all through these woods. There was a guy that had the farm over there back in the 40s and he was hiding cows back here in the woods because I think there was meat rations I think is what the problem was so um, I don't know that that's what killed that here's a here's about a three inch branch that'll be in the boiler tonight um, this thing is leaning uh, whew, that's bigger than I thought it was this thing we're going all the way up it just wise, it's gonna catch on everything in the world. I should probably let it go. Here's a, another dead one. I can't see it right there. I think you can see the hypoxylin disease got in it. Knock that out. See those gray spots in it? That's what you can you can tell when it's uh that disease. See those gray spots in there? It's like, it's like felt. It looks like gray felt. Yeah, I get in there. That's what it is. And once the tree's got it on there, it's a goner. Well, that tree had it on there. You can see it's had some damage in the back. It looks like I must have cut that off years ago. Well, I think I cut that off and then the tree died. I don't know, years after it. That was already dead. It's got the canker in it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yep, that's it right there. If it's got it in there now, this gives you an idea of how big this tree is. It's probably three, three foot round here, and it's aiming right for the barn. My thought was doing one thing, but now that I look at it, I think my thought might be something else but I'm still gonna try to do it that uh, tree over there oh that's wide off that's that's a wide 
wide tree also briars you can't see them but man they hurt they kick you in the butt hard here's a uh, this one here's a hickory looks like the squirrels are having a good time in that one or chipmunks okay that one there you can see the the Y this side here you can see the hypoxylin canker in it so that's a goner the whole tree is a goner then and that's aiming right for the barn too man I'll tell you what that one's shit shoot um, anyhow that's not the one I'm working on. I'm Allison Restauranting again. What my plan was, and now that I've got here and see how big this actually is, I'm not sure if i got good plans or not. Rotted here, I don't know whether... You can't get a good, uh, what do you call it, notch out of this thing. Don't know that a notch would really matter on this side. But I want it to, I don't want to go toward the, I don't want it to go toward the barn. And you guys can't see the angle of it. I was thinking, of course there I go thinking, that's not a good thing to do without a brain. See that Y in there? If I can get a uh, cable up over that Y, I'm, I was just going to try to plan on pulling the whole thing over, roots and everything with that winch that I got. And that tree's probably three foot in diameter right there. And I don't know how much of it's solid. So, but that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to sit here for a little while and try to throw a rope over that. And if I can get a rope over that, then I'm going to try to pull a cable up over that. I'm not going to try to pull the cable for the, um, uh, off the winch up there. I'm going to pull a, a different cable up there just because if you can't get it down, then, you, then you'd be stuck. Uh, see if I can get an angle shot of, That kind of lets you know how it's aiming toward the barn. I could turn the camera and make it look better, but this is pretty flat, but that's angling toward the barn. But uh, I think I want to try to see if I can't tug it from way up there. So I'm going to try in the next little while to get a rope over that. If I get a rope over that, a rope over that, then I will, depending on how hard it pulls, the hypoxylin canker has a tendency to hurt the roots. So if it's hurt the roots, to do, there's just a ball hanging up there, then it won't too, be too bad. Oh man, it is, can you guys hear the wind in the background? Now I'm down in, the, in between the two hills. Because that goes way up that way, and that goes way up that way, and I'm down at the bottom. But it's still cold, I'll tell you that. So anyhow, I brought my throwing rope. I would uh, bring you guys along for that, but I don't know where I'd put you. And uh, I kind of really don't think I'm gonna get one over there. I just, I just that's uh, 10, 20, 25 feet up in there, I guess. But that'd give me good leverage if I if I could get a hold of it. So that's what I'm shooting for. That's what I'm up to. We'll go check the other mouse traps, but you don't need to really come along for that. Once you've seen one mouse trap, you kind of seen them all. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll show you. I forgot. It came in. I got a nutcracker coming from a black walnuts. That hadn't come in yet. It's coming from Canada, and I think they got some kind of truck issues up there at the border or something. I've seen something like that, so it's just kind of... There's an old boiler. You've seen that before. Look at this. Uh, can't make the lid stay open. There's 24 mouse trappers there. They say they're Victor, but I think they're a Chinese knockoff, to be honest with you. Because they don't say Victor. They got the little Victor mouse on there, but I think the Chinese are good enough to copy that. But I don't see where it's, it says Victor on it anywhere. You could probably scan that and see what it is. And there's nothing in here that says where they're made out of. And there's no Victor on the wood stream. There's no made in China, which I wouldn't be surprised that whether it's Victor or not. Just never know anymore. Um, they might be a Chinese knockoff, but that's all right. The problem with all those other traps that I had a lot of times, you can see all the ones I've lost. I lost 
two more last night is they just that one's still a good one this one here lost the uh, lever but I can take the lever off another one this one here has lost the lever they seem one in I don't know where it was but I know I lost another lever on one of those last night so anyhow that's uh, what I got going on that's the tree tree I'm gonna you can see that V real good here that gives me a lot of leverage man and I'll, I'll pull with a snatch block if I can get up there the chance of me getting a rope over that thing are pretty pretty far-fetched but I'm gonna give it a whirl and if I do you guys can come back and see me work on it and if not I'll give you an update on it so I appreciate you coming around it's kind of a windy day and not really doing too much oh I cleaned the boiler today I forgot to say that um, it's been three weeks and I try to keep it clean and with this cold spell it transfers heat a lot better if you keep them cleaned out don't know what else is going on but uh, not a whole lot but mud so we'll see you guys later there's the old sawmill I might walk I think I'll walk up there so uh, appreciate you being here hit the thumbs up button if you would and uh, send your wood splitter pictures to Dan at Back 40 Firewood. We'll see you guys later. Thank you now. Bye-bye.